day. How y'all doing today? I feel really good today. Um, welcome, gods, goddesses, emperors, empresses, queens and kings, princesses and princes. Last but not least, we got them bitches and them bitches. I will never forget about y'all because truly it's levels to the bullshit. But when it comes to you bitches and bitchettes, no matter how much love I may have for y'all, y'all motherfuckers will learn. And the only way you're going to learn how to climb the the ladder is by letting you motherfuckers bump y'all heads several times. And, and, and trust me, I'm all for karma. I love karma because it teaches us. I love karma because it shows that you should stay in your motherfucking place. Stay in your motherfucking place. Now, I was asking the Almighty for a word on today that has to do with I can't help you no more. You have to help yourself. I cannot save you anymore. You have to save yourself. And you know what's going to save you? The graves that you did. Because you're going to learn that you cannot fuck with a divine, godly, truth-telling motherfucker. But you cussing. Fuck you. But you abusing children. But you molesting children. But you stealing. But you lying. But you hurting the divine path that came through here. And I'm talking about women who bear these children. And every woman don't have good fruit. I'm going to let you know that right now. It's some real bitches out there that will put your name in the dirt and not think twice about it. And think that they can play with God and that black magic and then not come back on you. Almighty for a word. This sunrise. Several, even last time I gave y'all a message then. And I'ma keep giving the messages because I am here to tell you truth. Raw cut. Some people can't handle that. From the good book, and you can pick up yours. And it comes from Hebrew. It comes from Hebrew 8. A lot of people don't believe in the Bible. Oh, I don't believe in the Bible. You don't even know why you don't believe in the Bible. You just don't believe it. You know why you don't believe it? Because you don't look words up. You just assume you know what the fucking word means and you go about your day. The reason why you stop believing in the Bible if you once was believing in the Bible is because you don't educate yourself. You don't dig in this, in this piece. It does not take a month to read the Bible. This is too much content for it just to be one month for you to go through this whole beach and you think you know what you think talking and thinking about. No. No. But I'm going to get into it. And I'm coming from 8. Hebrew 8. And I'm going to 8 to 12. So I'm going to go on down to 8. And it says, but when God found faith with the people, he said, I apologize. That is not what they said. I'm going to redo that. But when God found fault with the people, he said, this day is coming, says the Lord. When I will make a new covenant. With the people of Israel and Judah. This covenant will not be like the one I made with their ancestors. When I took them 
by the hand, not holding no more hands. And led them out of the land of Egypt. Y'all remember that story? They did not remain faithful to my covenant, even though I carried their hand. I led them out, even though I took them out of jail. They did not remain faithful to me. They complained. They bitched. So I turned my back on them, says the Lord. But this is the new covenant I will make with the people of Israel on that day says the Lord I will put my law in their minds you know how it's going to be put in your minds because God walked away from your ass you're going to constantly think about it you're going to constantly ponder on what you've done if you can't treat your brethren right on earth who is made in God's image how the fuck can you be all for the almighty? Raising your hands, hallelujah, in church. But the person next to you, you gossiping about her. She stank. She got bed bugs. She opening up that pussy to the past. Whoops. And I will write them on their hearts. You have no choice now because your heart is going to be broken. I will be their God and they will be my people. Hallelujah. I love when God speaks to me. You gonna be down on your knees begging for righteousness. Begging for the, doing the right thing. Begging for God. What is, how can I make this right? Righten your wrongs. The truth, first of all, will set you free. From all of the chaos that you have produced. Hallelujah. And they will not need to teach their neighbor. I won't have to teach your motherfucking ass no more. Because you know because it's on your heart. Your heart breaks. Because the same thing you did to her. Is being done to you. Even if it's in a different way. Your heart is going. It's going to be written on your heart. Because your heart will be broken. You're going to wish you was dead. Nor will they need to teach their relatives. I won't have to teach family. Boundaries is fucking boundaries. The way I raise my children is the way I raise my children. And the way you raise your children is the way you raise your children. You cannot go back and say, oh, I wish I would have done things differently. No. Writing your wrongs now. Pick up the pieces to what you've done now. The truth will set you free. Hallelujah. Saying you should know the Lord for everyone from the least to the greatest will know me already. And I will forgive their wickedness. And I will never again remember their sins. Now God is saying it right there. How can I write in my wrongs? What do I need to do? How do I need to start? Your heart is going to tell you. Tell the truth. Do the right thing. Repent. Repent. Repent me is to ask for forgiveness beg beg and plead Who, if, whoever you done wrong whoever you have wronged beg 
plead. Talk to God. Never do it again. Because the more you do it, you will pay. In the Almighty's name. I had an incident just last night. Somebody thought that I was going to come and save him. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. Because you know what? The same instance before... It sounded like, if you listen long enough, it sounded like the same shit. How about a round of applause, standing ovation? You put on quite a show. This sound like the same fucking, hold on, I heard this before. This sound like that Rihanna song. How about a round of applause? You said this before. You said it with just as much passion as before. I'm supposed to save you? Some people literally have to get that fire under their ass to smell that the flesh is real. And you better handle it before it handles you. I'm not a preacher. I'm a student. I'm a teacher. God is the ultimate teacher. When you hurt me, you hurt yourself. When you try to trick me, you trick yourself. I am the almighty divine. And I'm proud to say that. Because people used to try to make me feel like my truth wasn't acceptable. God got me through everything. The ancestors carried me. Trial and tribulations carried me. Knowledge of thyself carried me. Not swaying and letting the enemy win over me. I could have been on drugs a long time ago. I could have been selling pussy out here a long time ago. They tried to break me. But the Almighty said, hold up, this man. Oh, this me. Oh, you, you must don't know who she belonged to. I'm going to show you real quick. I love karma. I love karma. It taught me. To the day, the day that it taught me, went... When my children's father said what he said about my little sister and her pussy hairs. And I remember back then what I said to my baby's father and his brother about his phallus hairs and his phallus. Even if God don't care if that person hurts you. You don't replace wrong with wrong. I didn't even get mad when I heard the accusations against my children, my daughter's father. I reflected, like, remember you did that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, there's an order. Thank you, God, there's an order. Thank you, hallelujah. Thank you for my grandmother who prayed. I, if I never heard her pray, I wouldn't. Hallelujah. Thank you for every divine. Everything happens for a reason. You think you being knocked down, them lessons are to teach you. With every, just like in love and basketball, homegirl, when she did that thing, when, when homegirl was coming at her at full force, but she was practicing them things so it couldn't be like real tough on her. Whatever those things called, well, homegirl kept coming full force when she bumped into her and she fell. But she been practicing those things. You get stronger with each tribulation. And this go for the bitches and bitches too. As you heard in the Bible. I'm not even going to have to tell you because you going to know. Every ranking will know God is real. 
the ancestors, all their angels and mighty powers is real. You don't use your power for wicked. Because it will come back on you. In the name of the most high. Hallelujah. Now, I talk to y'all soon. I love talking to you motherfuckers. I do. Do see, do see. Kiss, kiss. Love and guidance always.